Hey, all, it's Ian here from the Sports Card Side Hustle. I'm coming to you with a top hustle play of the week. In this case, it's not the norm. Um, I haven't had any picks for a while, or I've been busy, haven't made many videos. But it's not the typical buy, um, buy and hold, or buy quick, and you're going to see some uptick. I'm actually telling you now is the peak for what I think will be a while for Brock Purdy, and I would sell Brock Purdy. So this is a one-year chart, but if you notice, the one-year chart, and the two-year chart of Brock Purdy look basically the same in card ladder. Why? It's because he didn't even have cards two years ago. His cards haven't been out a full two years or just over one year at the most. So the charts basically look the same. But what does it show you? It came, his cards came out at, like, his peak. A lot of cards, rookies, they come out at um, at um with all the most hype, like the top draft picks, etc. His was even a more unique case because – he wasn't hyped. He was Mr. Irrelevant, so they didn't even make cards for him right away. Being the last pick in the draft, he wasn't expected to play, et cetera, et cetera. So what happened? They didn't have his cards in the earliest sets. He started blowing it up when he got in there, winning, winning, had good numbers, looked like the real deal. Everybody started hyping him even more because he'd already done it on an NFL field well when the, when his first cards came out. So... Um, it was hard for that hype to sustain, and the season was ending when, when those first cards started to get out there. So um, you see that he had a pretty good drop-off, started to drop off. The season ended. There's always a, a lull in the season. Prices drop or sag until there's something to build that interest again. So now you see this season, right, as we go back to there's three months, even one month, one month, you know, um, back after he started having an incredible start to the season. He, now he's back to where he was last year and more. Um, I would sell. It's above the all-time high that was set, you know, last year. And now it's going to be hard for them to sustain this. They're starting to have injuries. They might be a Super Bowl team and Super Bowl champ. But even then, you probably have three months. And you'll probably have a, a month to two months of lag. Actually, Super Bowl is like four months, near four months away, three and a half. So, Unless you're a long-term collector, holder, you have some sentimental value with Brock Purdy, I would go with um, a sell here, not even show any more. Brock Purdy has been all of the top and hottest cards, but you see that just starting to fade, just signs that maybe he's down from the peak, right? He's still got the number one card um, updating this list each time in the last couple of days. They're starting to drop out, so he's got number one. Uh, number eight, but other cards are now starting to creep back in there again. There is is at number 13. At one point, I think he had like seven or eight of the top ten. So, you notice some of those starting to fall from favor. The cards that will maintain the value are those super short print cards, but he didn't even have a Kaboom yet. So, maybe the um, downtowns and the versions of the downtown. So, so I would uh, consider taking profits. If he looks like if the 49ers are going to get all their players back and their health in time for postseason run, be a Super Bowl comp- contender, you can probably buy these back again by December, in December, and uh, for, for more uptick. But if, if I had cards graded that were those elite cards that everybody's after right now, I would consider Brock Purdy a sell. Um, the other thing I want to mention is Brock Purdy's rookie cards are for the same cards, similar cards, are three times the value of Jalen Hurts. So are they overhyped? Probably um, a little bit. He's, yes, he's a great quarterback, but um, that's what I got for my pick this week. Um, have fun watching Thursday Night Football. Enjoy the football weekend, and have a good one all. Take care.